What do we find now? More stuff, obviously. Yeah, so <clears throat> there's a channel called Carmack One, and I don't know, he seems like he's a little upset. I mean, I promised him a shout out. Is it, see, there's a couple things. I, I call a shout out like, oh, this thing hasn't been used in a long time. You should try that thing, it probably runs. Or it probably doesn't. Seven horsepower at one time. At one time it had seven horsepower. Yeah, so anyway, uh, Carmac One, that's a YouTube channel. I promised him a shout out. And, uh, well, yeah, I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I make a mention of Tucker Upper and he, he's considering that a shout out. That's not a shout out. I was just mentioning his channel because you know how they have like intro a lot of channels have intros and I have like a tin ear and I can't figure out the words to the song not that it matters but Oh, the camera broke. It fell 500 feet. <laughs> it fell about one inch. It just, it just tipped over, that's all. <clears throat> that thing is nasty. It came from a beautiful house like that. Yeah, anyway, um... Uh, he considers that a shout out. I just consider that a mention of another YouTube channel. Like, uh, yeah, I can't, I can't figure out the words to that song. I mean, I can figure out some of them, but <clears throat> then I was going into some old, very well-known songs, like rubbed up. Revved up like a douche. Oh, you know, it sounds like revved up like a douche. <laughs> or wrapped up like a douche. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. What's that? That's all. That, I don't consider that a shout out. Okay. And besides, a channel with like 35,000 subscribers really doesn't. This isn't hurting for a shout out from a channel with like not even 4,000 subs, okay? <laughs> I mean, what's the point, right? That's kind of upside down backwards. So anyway, yeah, he's making that claim that, you know, I'm giving him a shout out and not Carmac One. And I said, yeah. You know, what well, in the upcoming video I'll do that. Don't worry about it. So you know, no harm, no foul. No, it's just wood. It looked like metal. You know, I think some things just don't translate through the video or through words and stuff like that, or even through text. I guess that's why they created emojis, and even that doesn't work. Just in case, you know what I mean? Because I've been to a couple of these already where the lawnmower wasn't really being thrown out. The trap was set and the trap was laid 
I walked right into it. <clears throat> so, when collecting a lawnmower, one can never be too careful. Of course, the preponderance of the evidence suggests that this hasn't been used in quite some time. There's leaves in there. So, of course, one must play detective. Corals have difficult uh, handles. Taking the knobs off. Of, uh, a little ways into spring, you know what I mean? The start finding lawnmowers like this is usually a, an early spring thing. One can never be too careful when it comes to a lawnmower. So, there's a lawnmower is something that does belong outside. Now, a washing machine or a water heater, not so much. You follow what I'm saying? going around with my uh, pickup truck, but uh, I don't know. I was up too late over by my sister-in-law's house last night, so that's like everybody was drinking except for me, and uh, you know, they were all being loud and stuff like that, so I got horrible sleep. The pictures are being thrown away. So yeah, I made a couple of videos. I, sh I shouldn't have been so, uh, you know, I, I, I re-reviewed them. I'm like, uh, I'm sounding a little negative, but whatever. This guy must be on meds. Sometimes he's up and sometimes he's down. <laughs> oh God. Nope. Maybe you should take meds. <laughs> Okay. Onward, I guess. I don't know. What else is there? Except to keep pushing the dream. Oh, people get into their vehicles quickly. My family, like, strolls slowly. A 
was sold saying what a beautiful sight. And, we're and the radio. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing, but I think to make on the left understand that what the left wing and, and AOC are proposing here, making banks out of the post offices, is very, very dumb. The, the left wing in our country wants to make the post the office into a bank. Or Mother Joe. <laughs> <laughs> and says, they can't even get. <laughs> they can't even get the freaking mail delivered right. I think they have their hands full just getting the letters into the mailbox. Jeez. Bernie Sanders. I think the I think the banks the banks couldn't give couldn't give a care about they couldn't, couldn't give a care about those that make ten dollars an hour. Who cares? Jeez. The first centers really are talking about is the Post office. subsidizing people with another entitlement program. They'll give loans to people who they know will not be able to repay those loans in small amounts via the post office. <laughs> that, that's the here, but this is the, this For, is the First get the freaking mail delivered. Don't worry about being coming a bank. Jeez. The left. And Bernie Sanders is openly claiming that we should cap credit card rates. So he wants to take control of the entire credit industry of the United States. Can't see how this goes wrong. The problem is when you collectivize individual problems, the collective tends to fail at the same rate as the individual. Coming up, we'll jump into the mailbag. The collect that's a very good point. The collective tends to fail at the same rate as the individual. Because if you're made part of a collective, let's say that I'm made part of a collective. What incentive do I have to work? Unless I'm put to the point of the barrel of a gun to being forced to work, right? Otherwise, What's in it for me, man? I don't feel like working. I'm burnt out. No incentive. All right, onwards, guys. Not seeing much. You know it's raining again, so. Yeah, maybe summer's just gonna be a really rainy summer. Oh God. Let's hope not. When you get that spell breaker, you know, you get like the rain spell. It's been really damp since maybe February. Ever since like about the middle of January, when the weather turned like from being, wow, this is really nice. This is a, if winter's going to be like this, this would be no problem. January 15th. By the time January 20th came around, we're in the deep polar vortex freeze. And then uh, lots of moisture, lots of snow, lots of rain. So we'll need like a spell breaker. I think the spell breaker will be like hot and dry. Oh, there's some scrap. And people will be begging for this kind of rain in the cooler temperatures. Because it will be like Africa hot out there. And people will be like sweltering I'm wondering what happened to the 45 degree temp oh the street lights <laughs> wondering what happened to the 45 degree temperatures they gone thing I don't miss is all that garbage that was in here. Looking for my keys like a madman. Alright, see you in the next video.